Tell your friends. Vidiots. Confirmed. What's that? Vidiots, the Vidiots is uh, closing down apparently. We're Even though we delivered the news the and said that we're not, everyone else has decided that we are. Well, that's the truth, isn't it? One thing yeah. I, I will say right now mm. that we've already agreed we're recording this in advance. We're going to say on on the Q and A video from last week. Yeah. Is that worst games existed before this, and it will exist after this. It will. It's just that if we're going to do it because it's intensive we need to have the time and the resources to do it. And we will. But yeah, worst games ever. It's very sad about what's happening with videos. It's turned into a whole bit of admin, hasn't it, this but intro? I just, I just wanted to say, like, yeah. people, are, people are sad that worst games ever is going. It's it's going from videos, mm. but it's not going to be gone. No. Just wait. It'll be just, fine. It's okay. Just, you know, videos is, is, is winding down, but, you know, we're not, so... We're still going to be alive afterwards. Is this guy? Yeah. So don't worry about it. Anyway. Welcome to... Let's have some fun. Worst Let's games... Let's try, shall we? Yeah. Worst games ever. Welcome. Yeah, hello everybody and welcome on to Worst Games Ever. That's the most intense... Shit thing. Games 4. Yeah. Uh, we have this incredible game in front of us today. What's the music for Miami Vice? Dun 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 Bad boys, bad boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? do? That's the one. Right? Yeah, that's because it's got that's the two. It. It's got the two. Are they on the front? Two cops. It's got the two bad boys on the front. There. Yeah. Bad boys for life. That's them. Right Which there. one is William Smith? I bet they both look more like Will Smith than Will Smith looked like Will Smith in the Bad Boys game. Yeah, probably. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Here no, he is. We... Yeah, he doesn't look right, does he? I am Ben. That is my name. And that also makes him the game's victim today. <laughs> I am Peter, that is my name. And that makes him the game's master of the, the episode that we're doing right now in, in front of. Yeah. What's that hissing? Noise? I don't really know. Uh, this, this fucking office with its weird noises. Who's Most making of them, them are coming from content creators, but on this occasion, there's just a weird hiss noise. Hey, I've got a great idea, Peter. Yeah? How about we try and contribute to those weird noises today? In this episode. By we're... playing a game that's probably going to make us scream and shout and let it all out. And scream and shout and let it out. I'm not going further than that. Okay, that's fine. What a mercy. Thank Will you. I ain't. Let's do it! Billy. <sighs> ben, have you ever seen Miami Vice? No, Peter, I haven't. What a shocking trend. I haven't seen Miami Vice. Good. Please write in the comment section, OMFG, I can't believe you've never seen Miami Vice. Thank you. Oh! Oh, an old friend. Remind us who Davalex is, apart from a baddie from Doctor Who. David Lex is the man behind uh, the London Racer slash Autobahn Racer slash Paris Marseille Racer series of games franchises. From from the Dutchland. From the Dutchland. Oh. Yeah, and that was Atomic Planet Entertainment. There, we've never heard of them. Never heard of them. Well, there's a reason for that. Yeah, did they, <laughs> I'm assuming they didn't exist long before or after. No, yeah, probably not. I'll let you know. In the using my box of hot and fresh science facts. Whoa, so fresh and so. Oh, oh, we have a choice of German or not German. Where are we? Are we over the sea or the sky? Um, I think we were in in the rift or something. Two thousand and four, huh? Yeah. What happened to the Y on by on the top line? What? Oh, Biv. Biv. Secrets. Secrets and discoveries in some, some of, of our, our favorite, favorite games. games. A Let's character viewer and the credits. They're pretty secret, to be fair. Oh. Oh wow, it didn't even have to... This is just it, it's just happening. Managing director, Darren... I've got a hot and fresh science fact about the credits for later on. <gasps> Two Falcuses. Oh, can you skip through them like that? No, oh, okay. I think it just resumed. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? No. Play it. Oh, okay. No, right, right, well. Hard, right? No. I wouldn't suggest... No. Stop asking me! Continue without... Yes! Uh, Identify old. Manuel Ortega. Do you, get, do you get it? I do, I do get it. That's really good. You know how we've been saying Manuel for the past 12 months. And now it's, and now and it's now actual it's Manuel. It's come full circle. Oh my god. Patience, Mr. Burnett. He's a busy man. He'll be here. Oh, they're here. Well, just you wait. Look how thick that door is. Fuck. Oh no. So, oh my god. Oh wow, it's just... 
<gasps> oh no! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I like to think that he died of the impact rather than... Yeah. The... It's because he just walks into a... St oh, oh, shit. I think your head just did a little flick as well to start with. Okay. So... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, now control's gone again. Right. <laughs> did, the, did the ladder just go up with yeah. the door that... Hang yeah, on. The ladder went up. What's happening? So now you can't climb the ladder. Yep. Right now, <laughs> there's no tutorial or anything, but oh. there's apparently like a lock-on button somehow. It's not L2. Well, let me let me fetch you some facts. You're You're fuck, uh -huh. what? Hello? What? Hello? I don't know how to shoot. <laughs> you might need to find Manuel Osega. Okay, first let's have to... let's have a look, Manuel of Sega. You have a look through there, and I'll read you the first Tom okay. Fresh Science. Okay, please do. Miami Vice is a third-person shooter game for the PS2, Xbox, and PC, developed by Atomic Planet Entertainment and published by Davalex in 2004. Oh. I'm going to turn it up a bit because uh, the sound design on this game is worth listening to, even if it does bleed Ooh. through our microphone a little bit, which it might do. If I press square, yeah. I go into a rest, apparently. A rest? It, there's, the square button is a rest, apparently, oh, so I'll just, can... I'll just have a little heart issue. You I can think. voluntarily arrest. Yeah, can just you? arrest. R2 is lock target, L2 is switch target. Okay, so circle. Fuck, it's like learning how to drive. Register trademark Nintendo, Switch Target. Switch Target. Yeah. Um, Hope you like this music. Is there a lot of it? I'm saying nothing. Okay. You're ready to take two steps and have that garage door and ladder raise? What if I sneak up on it? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, there goes the ladder. What the so fuck? So that man pressed a button, which you're going to need to press to to lower the ladder. Locked on, eh? That's really good. I mean, I know where he is. I mean, maybe just go up to the right. Are you just pushing this? Okay, yeah. I thought you were... Oh, there you go. That's him dead. Now, if you take cover, you will regain health. It's COD before it's time. Ah! Yeah. This game was a real... You know, trailblazer. Trendsetter and Trailblazer, yeah. Oh, I got him. Take that, you shit. Brilliant. Is there anyone else? Would you believe, Ben... What? ...that this is actually based... This whole game is based on a single episode from the 80s TV show. Really? Uh, the episode was called The Fix, uh, in which Crockett and Tubbs investigate a judge they think has gone bad. No! Yeah. Bad? Bad? That doesn't seem good. No. Bad is not good. This music's really good, isn't it? This is what you were talking about, I'm assuming. Yeah. That this is this is the this is the song. This is it. So it's like something. It's like a member of the Blue Man Group just twanging like a wow, wow, like rubbing a saw blade across a guitar or yeah. something. It's really good. Fuck. But only doing three notes and then looping it around. Now there's like a weird jump button. Where you have to walk to edges that you're allowed to jump from, and then there's like a prompt, so I think you might be able to... Keep walking there. That was it. Right, that, that was, was it there. That was a split second, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? Am I, am I Burnett or whatever he's called? I don't... I think you are Sonny Crockett, rather than Tough Guy Ricardo Tubbs. Or maybe not. Uh, here's a bonus fact. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it happened again. Gaps that can be jumped are highlighted. Yeah. Oh, they'll they'll leap automatically without the need for a button press. So you know how he fell off last time? Oh. Apparently not. That's graceful, that. <laughs> oh. Fucking hell, that's horrible. Look, <laughs> let me just walk it. Oh. oh. Here I go. I like how the... Oh, oh, that, why does it keep doing that? Doesn't, doesn't like that. I like how the frame rate improves when it's a top down because it's rendering less on screen. Wow. Machine pistol. Holy shit. That's like a machine gun, but a pistol. Am I actually. What's happening? What was that noise? Why are there more glitches in the top left? Oh my god. The... I'm sorry? Trouble top! I'm in trouble tops. I'm in trouble tops. I'm in trouble tops. <laughs> I'm in trouble tops. Just get some health back. This is how it works. Yeah. It's because I'm just. Miami Vice! That was my cardiac arrest option. Roll credits. 
Miami Vice. I'm in trouble, Tubbs. That fires as fast as my pistol did. That's rubbish. Hello? Oh, Christ, what's happening? Oh, I'm in trouble, Tubbs. I'm in it's so slow in the wide angle stuff, and then the moment the fixed camera changes. Look at that persistent glitch in the top left. Yeah. Again. What's that doing? I mean, that might be an emulator issue. Um, people will have will be annoyed in the comments section. What's he doing? I'm locked on. He's just spinning. I'm in trouble, trouble Tabs. He sounds like. You ready for an obscure Peter Austin rep? Uh, sorry. Are you okay? Do we need to? There we go. Got my healthy. healthy ready for an obscure rep? <laughs> Trouble time. <laughs> he sounds like Mr. Clown off of the Animaniacs. Who's... What is this angle? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Resident what Evil 1. Fucking... Ah, it's horrible. Yeah. Sorry, he sounds like Mr. Clown. From the Animaniacs. Oh. Here's a clip of Mr. Clown from the Animaniacs. When you want to scream, put away that frown and never be scared of trouble tubs. Told you. Oh, it does sound like that. Oh, fuck. God, the visual glitches. Oh, God, they're getting worse. <laughs> I, aren't they? I, I really think they're probably the emulator. You're going to die. You're in trouble, Tubbs. Stay here. He's, oh, he's slithering. He's doing a little. <laughs> oh. oh, he's gone. He's gone. The music <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that you can hear right now oh, what was that? Where is it? used on loop for all segments in the game in which you're in combat, which is most of the game. Because this is real combat music, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'm in combat. High octane. Uh... Trouble! Clown! Oh, there's loads of them. Do not enter! Where are you going? Am I allowed to vault or do I have to run back? Ugh. It gets so much quicker the moment you look away from everything. It's so bad. Oh, that was a key. Pick up the giant ah! key that's as big Oof. as your thigh. Look how big... Nearly died. That's a real big key. Oh. The silence pistol's probably not needed, is it really? I think, no. I think they might know you're here. Because I'm in trouble. Because you're just yelling, I'm in trouble, Tubbs, everywhere you go. No victims, only volunteers. No victims, only volunteers. I think he just justified killing a man. Yeah. It's hideous, oh. isn't it? Yeah. It's really hideous. Do you think uh, this game sort of went well for the people involved? What went well and what didn't went well? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it did went well. Ben? Yeah? Davalex closed their game division in 2005 because it was not profitable. Ben? Mm hmm In 2009, Atomic Planet went into administration after a number of redundancies. It's getting, it's getting worse. It is getting worse, sir. Ben? Yeah? After deteriorating ratings during the fourth and fifth seasons, NBC decided the show had run its course and cancelled it in 1989. Oh no. Before this game came out. Oh. Basically but every... I still blame the... I still blame the developers. Yeah. Everyone and everything... Oh fuck! Jesus they involved in this game no longer exists in its original form. That is, that's pretty shameful, isn't it? However... Yeah? If you go to davalex.com... Uh, does that exist? It, yeah. It's on the back of the box. If you go to davalex.com, a company that no longer exists, allegedly, yeah, you get a 403 error, right. which, as far as I'm aware, means that the server exists, it's just not allowing you access to the website. Ah. So davalex.com is still kind of... Owned by... S someone. And they don't want people visiting it. I wonder why. What secrets have they... Bomb. This is some top-notch entertainment, this is... I'm going to come back out in the car park, aren't I? I will have run through this building from from a key that I picked up, then picked up another key from another man that I killed, yeah. and then re-emerged... Eventually. Into the... Into the car park. Oh, but Hello? no, there was a fence, though. You would never have got over that fence. It's not like you could have pushed that small crate up to the fence. No, no. Don't even talk about And used it to climb. What the fuck is happening over. out here? See, it's fast because you're facing tubs. a wall. Travel times! Careful now! Oh. Tubbs, I'm down! <laughs> <laughs> what? He just got riddled with bullets. 
Tubbs, I'm down. How how restart am I restarting? Yeah, let's find out. Probably everything. Oh. I'm in trouble, Tubbs. I'm in trouble, Tubbs. No, Tubbs, help me. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I'm down, Tubbs. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake. I've uh, been on the Miami Vice wiki uh, to learn about the episode that this is based upon. Yeah. There's a section called Goofs. Are you ready to hear what went wrong in the I'm, episode? I'm ready to hear about these wacky goofs, Peter. I'm so excited. When Crockett and Tubbs are driving to the college basketball game in Crockett's Daytona, a shot of the car driving over a bridge shows the brake lights illuminating, yet at the same time, the car's engine can be heard increasing in revs. Oh, that is embarrassing. Indicating it is accelerating. That. These two are clearly incongruous <laughs> and would require the brake and accelerator pedals to be pressed at simultaneous times, something no driver would do. That is such a major goof. I can't believe they Boy, I really hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I can't believe they weren't cancelled there and then, to yeah. be honest. I, yeah. I would have I would have thrown up. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh. There's also actually another uh, goof from that episode that is kind of funny. No. What is it? At the beginning of the scene inside the college basketball arena, you can hear the echo of the director or someone else in the crew yelling, action. <laughs> action. Oh. The action had to begin immediately. They, they didn't, they couldn't afford two seconds of blank tape. But trouble tabs, they had to just go. Action, go! It's time, quick! On the subject oh, he of- he fell. Go for some, fuck! He fell for some reason. Yeah, on, on the subject of- I'll goof. tell you about what happens in the credits. Yes, please do. So, yeah. as you may recall from your brief look at the credits, um, there is like a sort of bold title of the role of, of somebody. And yeah, and underneath it says the name or names of the people from that department. Okay. Right? But when you get to the title that says programming, underneath there are three things listed. Uh, Andrew Brown, yeah. Matthew Knowles, and technical support and assistance. Okay. Then on the next page... The bold title is Les Long. So what? <laughs> <laughs> so they've shunted it down accidentally. Yeah, Les and Long. So is... <laughs> apparently Les Long was done in this game by Paul McGrave. McGar <laughs> McGrave. Oh my God, that's a bit personal, isn't it? Yeah. I don't uh, know what they got up to. Duncan Chambers, Martin Peck, they all did Les Long apparently. I mean, and I'm, I'm really glad that go. technical support and assistance helped out with the programming. Cause... Yes, yeah, because the, everyone needed to chip in, right? Yeah. <laughs> also in the credits, um, the voice cast are not credited at all. Are they not? So it's anyone's guess if this game features Golden Globe Award winner Don Johnson and Philip Michael Thomas, the voice of GTA Vice City's Lance Vance. Oh. Apparently. L Lance Vance. Lance Vance. Lance Vance. One well, can only assume, though, up. that it's definitely them in the game, in this game as well. You know, the the TV cast were, yeah. were asked to reprise their role for this. I'm in trouble, Tarps. High enough. budget Davalex game. Can you resist the temptation of drink, women, fast cars, and drugs, and roll up Dragsburin Ortega's Cattell? Dragsburin. Drugsburin. Drugsburin. It's all one word. Drugsburin. Can you resist the temptation of drink, women, fast cars, and drugs, and roll up Drugsburin Ortega's <laughs> Cattell? Yeah, there's, there's like, there are some... Can you? There are some commas, but not enough. <laughs> yeah. Not even enough spaces. Drugsburin. 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 Hello? Look how cool he is. It's pretty cool. Has he got his head. scar? Is... Did he press the seizure button? Why is he shaking like that? <laughs> oh. oh, oh. You fixed him, him. I fixed him. I fixed him. I actually cut my thumb. Probably yeah. can't see that. I cut my thumb putting him back together because he's really fiddly. Hey. Hey, they fixed you, but they're cannibals. We saw them eat those other toys. Oh, sweet double prizes. I don't know what the, <laughs> I don't know what, it might be. Oh, score. I don't know. Uh, the, what, I was the 90, what was yeah. the 90s like? Fuck's sake. The story of toys. St uh, there used to be a Jim Henson children's TV show called The this Secret... This died, right? Yeah, it is. The Secret Life of Toys that was good, but it was, it was just exactly the same premise. Oh, the hello. Kid would leave the bedroom and the toys would come alive. There was oh. this really horrible episode, though, where they kind of, um, sort of the Woody, but he was an old man, yeah. this old bear, would talk about, like, this guy who he used to know, this toy that, like, had gone missing. And what had happened was this toy had gone, like, climbing um, on the shelf 
right. like a mountaineer, and then he'd fallen behind the radiator. Oh my god! And it turns out he'd been stuck there the whole time. That's awful. And they like they found him, and he was just there, and he was going, "Oh, I've been calling, and no one heard me." And he's got Jesus. like cobwebs all over him. That's that's horrifying. And he's been there years. I can't remember what form of media it was. I had a book, and I think I had um, an audio book as well, mm. and it was about old bear. And oh, it had yeah. a theme song. Oh, Read yeah. us a story, old bear. We'll all gather round. I don't remember the theme song. Yeah, I okay. do remember old bear though. Yeah, that was a that was a similar deal where all the toys were alive. Yeah. Um, and they but they they just had really lovely innocent adventures mm. that would get fucking stuck. What are you she? Is he having a problem? Yeah. Miami Vice. <laughs> That's got to be the emulator. They would not release that. Miami if, Vice! I think... Freeze. I think this is on us, and the slow-mo shit is the emulator, and let's not talk about no, that No, but we're having a nice time. We right? are. I have never tried to go... Oh, okay. Oh, well done, you made it. Oh, look, it's... What's his name? Dan... Uh... T tabs. Tabs. Drugs are gone. Drugs are gone. <laughs> Money too. Well, we tried. The drugs have gone. All you've done is run round in a circle and shoot some people. Hit Team Thug 1 unlocked. Great, well we did it. Before we get off the subject of creepy kids things, yeah. and let's just talk about anything but this terrible game. Sure, right yeah, now. yeah. Um, uh, do you remember... The 21st night. No, in the September. Teletubbies... I know I've already talked about the creepy man in the house who used to stick his head out the window and do a sing song. Yeah. Um, near the end of an episode, sometimes the windmill would go again. You know the windmill that made their TV, their, their, their tummies, telly tubbies. The tummies turn, turned on the telly tubbies. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it would go again and yeah. they would run this sort of. There were a few different kind of. Some of them were like CG animations. <laughs> uh, but one of them. There goes the sound. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> He's walking so slowly. <laughs> oh. We're in trouble, Tubbs. Oh. Oh. He fell. Good thing he showed oh, us where look, the bad the guys music were. Again. Oh, he's actually here. What's that? What's that button prompt at the bottom? Triangle. Let's go. Handle this, will ya? Oh, I can give yeah. directions. Oh, okay. So if I tell him to just go up there. Take cover. Tubbs. And one of the things at the end of the Teletubbies was, it was called The Lion and the Bear. And it was this big 2D wooden bear on right. wheels. It was on like a mountain board and it would wheel around. And before it actually arrived, first all you had was this voice echoing around Teletubby land going, I'm the bear, I'm the bear, and I'm coming. Fuck. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's hovering. It's Chris Angel. It is. Oh. He's in trouble, Tubbs. And then the bear would sort of leap on screen. And then she'd say, ah, I'm hiding from the lion. And then there'd be all this growling yeah. around Teletubby land. <coughs> and this lion would like wheel on screen and go, <coughs> and it was really uncanny because they're wheeling around instead of walking. And the Teletubbies themselves are sort of, they're laughing, but they're also a bit, a bit scared. Yeah. They're going like, ah, ha, 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 ha. And uh, it had to be censored when the Teletubbies were sent to America. Really? Yeah, it because it was spooky. too spooky. No, yeah. I, I don't believe that's real. I think you dreamt that. It's true. I read it, read about it on Wikipedia, so it must be true. Oh, there's a lady. Oh, we've saved a lady. Can you, what was the, what was the quote? Can you resist the women? Can you resist the temptation of drink women, fast cars and drugs and roll up drugs burn in Ortega's cartel? Where's she going? She's in trouble t <laughs> What? Hello? Get down! Arrest. Miami Vice PD. Right, let's go. How do we get in? Oh my god, up there. We've got this really tight and winding path. Great. Where are we going? No, no just... I think you're just going back to... Fuck, oh god, it's just no, an old... we're in trouble, Tubbs. We're in trouble, Tubbs. 
Shout out to our actual friend, who's an editor at Cultaholic, whose name is Richard Tubman. Richard Tubman. And we call him Dick Tubbs, yeah. i.e. Ricardo Tubbs. Ricardo Tubbs. Tubbs. I had no idea that was a Miami Vice character. It's great, isn't it? Oh, okay, we can go inside. It's just so terribly lit. You can't see it from us. <laughs> oh, God! You can't see that there's actually a way in from this angle because the texture is all just the <laughs> yeah. same thing. It's just brown, the game. I've got a quote here from an article. Uh, from GameSpot that I found about oh, this game. This must have been a tricky one to find information about. Yeah, it was, but, uh... Hello? Ah! <laughs> oh! oh my! <laughs> it's, it's Max Payne! <laughs> there was an article released before, the, like, when this game was announced, and people were hyped about it. They were, they were really excited, huh? GameSpot. We are really excited to be working on Miami Vice with Davalex, said APE Development Director Jason Falkus. Davalex has acquired a fantastic license and shares our vision of creating a top quality game. Yeah. Which does it justice. Sorry, say that again? Uh, Davalex has acquired a fantastic license and shares our vision of creating a top quality game. Good. Which does it justice. We are very pleased to be working with them on what we hope will be a long term development partnership. Right. Uh, Davalex closed down a year later. Ah, okay. Um, um, what was it? What did they describe this as? A, a top, uh, I think it, it was a some... top quality game. Yeah. Uh, it, the article goes on. We are thrilled to have acquired the Miami Vice license and to have signed a solid development partner like Atomic Planet Entertainment. Added Rogier Avi, CEO of Davalex Games. That is your real name. Yeah. Making a game based on on Miami Vice has been talked about a lot. And I am proud Davalex will be publishing this highly anticipated title. We talked about a lot. Like, yeah. That's that's not what a weird thing to say. <laughs> it's like, hang on, hello, footpath, where are you going? Yeah, it's just, just a sharp, sharp edge. Tapers off. And then this is just, well, what are we going to put here? Yeah. I don't know, just a bit of paving. That's where you have the barbecue. Don't really know. That is a really strange attitude to take, isn't it? It's like if Activision came out and said, we're really excited to be working with Insomniac Games on the next Spider-Man title. Spider-Man is a character that exists in the world. <laughs> yeah. And we can't wait to get started. It's been talked about a lot. I wow, I guess, I guess they must have moved out. There's just nothing in there, yeah. is there? Am, am I doing this right? Is there a buton that I'm missing? There's probably a, a buton hidden in some sort of brown shack. Oh, hello. You, you can see through the Yeah, that's the end of the world there. That's all we know. There's yeah. nothing beyond it. Right. Oh, oh, oh in hello. there. That makes in sense. another camouflage yeah, shack. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? They've put that down there. Not like any of the other shacks we, we've used so... Fuck. We've, uh, we've used so far where they're next to the gate. Yeah. Teach the player how to play and then just change it. Change everything up. Change it up. Keep them confused. That's how you get more game time out they, of the game. They can't even do bad... Fuck. They can't even do bad game design right. Was that the end of the level? Oh, Hit oh. Team Thug 4 unlocked. They just went up from 3, right? Yeah. I've not even... Yeah. I just did a, a breath and you knew I yeah. was going to talk because... Tell me. You've been alive for 26 years and I, know how human beings communicate. I know how words do. What do you think this game averaged? Um, out of 100? Yeah. I'm going to say 30. This is according to um, just the PS2 reviews I took from Moby Games, mm -hmm. from official sources. It's not just user reviews on Moby Games. Okay. Um... This game averaged 31%. Oh! Mm. Does that mean mean I win a special prize? You do win a special prize. Do you know what the special prize is? Will it make that glitch go away that mm. keeps popping up in the top left? It won't, no. Okay. The special prize is you have to guess what was the highest score. I would... Oh, there's more women! It's really subtle, dude. That's also a great hiding place behind a chair. Oh! God, it's a cacophony, isn't it? Um, oh, a little I think the highest review score was 70%. You are a madman. Um, it was 40%. Oh, wow. A top... Sorry, what was it? A top... A top quality game. Miami Vice is a license that exists, and we own it, and we're going to make a game. S top quality. The highest PS4 review ever to find was 40% from uvejuegos.com. I'm sorry? uvejuegos.com. One more time. uvejuegos.com. That means... UveGames.com. Okay. It says, and I had to translate this on Google Translate. Okay, that's fine. I forgive you. Thank you. You're not a Spanish. I'm not a Spanish, but Google is a Spanish. Yes, Google can do the Spanish for you. We are facing a mediocre game full of unacceptable failures at this point, and with a repetitive and boring development, accentuated by the graphic engine. 
the camera, and the absurd AI of the enemies and our partner. Mm -hmm. Not even the game's argument encourages further progress. No, not even that. We can only recommend the acquisition of this title to the real fans of the series, and even then, we believe that we are doing a job. Thanks, Google. Did you cure that? I mean, I get the gist. Yeah, me too. What do you think the uh, lowest review score was? Oh, I'm going to say, did we get a zero? We didn't get a zero. Oh, okay. No? Can we go swimming? No, it's impenetrable. Mm. Can't go in there. It looks fun. It's impossible. Yeah. It was 25%. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's still pretty high. It is pretty high. And that was from Je Video. Oh, we've the... covered Je Video we before. We have covered Je Video a couple French, of times. A French outlet. A French outlet. Again, I ran this through Google Translate just to be sure. My French is not great. Cubs, I'm down. Oh, oh but oh, never it's mind. Happening. You can just become Tubs instead. He's got a he's got a better gun than I have. Fuck, he's on full health. So can you like? I mean, clear the room, and then can you, like, pick him up? You can thank my lady. You can... You can thank my lady. You can thank my lady. You can thank my lady. Your video said... Yeah. With Miami Vice, Davalex perfectly completes its catalogue composed exclusively, and it is a feat, of daubs. Daubs? Daubs doesn't really have a translation. It's just the name of a sort of beef stew dish. Oh, so so, so like... But I imagine in France that that's a sort bum of cake. metaphor. Yeah, Some I think kind it's, of bum cake. I think it's a bum cake. It's like a French bum cake. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it, it's quite a feat that they've completed their catalogue of daubs. Um, as the publisher has accustomed us, it is no surprise that we find a game full of bugs totally uninteresting and unplayable. A very nice gift to offer if you feel masochistic tendencies. <laughs> That's a great review. It is. Even translated. That's thanks, excellent. Thanks, your video. Thank I, you, your video. I might have some daub tonight for tea. I may have pronounced that horrendously incorrectly. Daub. Daubs. Daubs. D-A-U-B-E-S. Dub. 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 I don't know where to go. I'm bored. Well, we've done all the facts. I'm bored of this now. Yeah. Look at her down there. She's freaking out. She just wants to go in the pool. Is she moshing? Is it a mosh pit? Come on, come on, get down with the sickness! She's going to give herself a headache doing that. Well, let's get a better view, at least. She's figure skating. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. It's strangely relaxing, though. Yeah. Like some sort of... The logic in this. It's a bit like have you seen that, that silhouette of the woman spinning round, and you can make her spin. Both You've ways. got to decide which way she's. That's spinning. what she's doing. She is doing. She's that. got one leg sticking out. If you turn that into a silhouette, you wouldn't know what the fuck she was orientated at. Can we look inside his head? <laughs> can you walk him towards the? <laughs> oh no! I knew it. I knew it would be allowed. That's a bit too far. Mm. Got that that guy behind you. Not that I was looking, but he's got quite a package. I was looking. I was looking. Maybe it's just the shading. Possibly. That's what I say about mine. When people it's just, say it's really small. It's no, just, it's just the shading. It's just the shading. Well, that was dreadful. Who sent this in again? Is it Ben? Ben Jones. James. Ben James. Sorry for not saying that at the beginning. Yeah, we did. We did look it up. Ben James, thank you so much for sending this. Thanks, Ben. Uh, this is. Piss. Yeah. A real daub. And compared right? it is a massive daub. And compared to what else I've been playing this week and you've been playing this week, you've probably been playing Red Dead or something. And I've been playing my beloved, my one and only true I mean this is being recorded before that game comes out, but I'm assuming I'm having a good time right now na, playing Spyro. Na, na, na. And nothing's gonna stop me feeling good about playing the new Spyro Reignited trilogy, which has presumably been done well. I'm really enjoying it at home. And I can't really think of anything that could happen to me that would make me think that Spyro is not just the, ba the, 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 the best thing that's ever happened. To Jurassic Fart. See you next week.